Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Thanks for tuning in today. We've got another really good topic and it has to do with whether or not moon phases dictate fish activity levels and when the fish are feeding and if that means you should change your fishing approach to be able to maximize your uh, productivity when dealing with different moon phases. I personally think that you should make some adjustment based on what the moon period is, but I'm not going to sit here, guys, and say that, you know, if you're in the middle of a waxing or a waning moon, that you need to do this or that. That really doesn't affect me nearly as much as when I'm dealing with a full moon. That's the number one moon phase that I think really does dictate what the fish are doing. You know, last night, I, last night I was throwing the football around with Hank in the yard because we had a big fall harvest moon. It was so bright out that we were able to throw the ball around and have no issue at all seeing it. And the same thing happens for the fish. You know, the fish are out there, they're utilizing that, that low light level period to feed. They're, they're able to capitalize on the moonlight still be able to set up good in, in feeding areas and capitalize with that little bit of light to successfully feed. It's a, it's a prime time for them to be able to set up and stock their prey. So anytime you have a moon period, whether it's spring, summer, fall, winter, the fish are going to utilize those moon periods or that full moon period. So a couple days before, a couple days after that, you know, that five day span to really feed up well overnight. And what that does is it's gonna dictate the fish feed, the fish activity level for the rest of the day. So in my experience, generally what happens is those fish feed up heavy overnight, you get out on the water, say an hour before sunrise, and your best bite period for that day is almost always right when you get out because you're capitalizing on that remainder of the feeding period from the night before when they were utilizing the full moon. So those fish are up all night feeding. And then once you get like sunrise, a little bit after sunrise, that activity level of the fish drops off significantly. So much so that generally the bite doesn't turn back on until the, you know, the early to mid afternoon hours, that three o'clock window period. Now, that's not to say you can't catch a fish. Obviously, you can catch a fish. The fish are going to go set up in their home base periods again. But for me, I treat it similar to how I would a high-pressure day. The fish just seem like they're much more lethargic. They're sitting tighter to cover. They're sitting more in a home base area. And they're just not chasing bait the way that they would. So I'm going to go out and adjust my, my uh, tactics throughout the day accordingly. First thing in the morning, sure, I'm going to probably be throwing moving baits, trying to take advantage of the remainder of that full moon period. But as soon as that bite dies off, I'm going with slow moving baits, fishing tight to cover, trying to knock a fish on the head and convince them into eating my bait, even though they had 12 shads the night before and they're really not hungry. So I'm going to probably downsize my baits and I'm going to fish really tight to cover, trying to get them to feed in, you know, it, before their next feeding window opens up, which usually isn't going to be until the early afternoon, mid-afternoon period. So, you know, between, you know, that window, if you want to get out and fish, you got to hit them on the head. you got to make them bite. You know, once then you start working up into the, the, the working closer to the evening hours, again, those fish activity levels are going to pick up. For me, it's similar to like if I were out all night in my early years when I would go to a concert and then you go to a bar or something after the concert, next thing you know, you're not home until four, five, six o'clock in the morning. And what do you do? You know, I've been up all night, super high activity levels. I was probably, I probably had three meals during that time. I'm going home and I'm going to bed and I'm waking up at noon, one, two o'clock in the afternoon. And at that point, Maybe I'll start thinking about eating something again and just really not getting back into my normal activity level until later in the day. I think that's really similar with the fish. I know, you know, I'm not sitting sitting here saying they go to sleep. I'm just saying their activity level is peak during the middle part of the night when they're utilizing that full moon to their advantage. And then after the full moon's gone, they're they're resting up. They're they're just much more lethargic. 
I only see this happen during the full moon periods. So over the years, you know, I originally was not much of a big full moon fan. But what I will say is, you know, since like early on, I just was like, oh, I don't believe that. But since then, I've paid a lot of attention, probably over the last five to 10 years. And it just seems like this holds up all of the time. You have a very good activity level first thing in the morning, the fish activity dies off, and I need to slow down to catch fish during that period before their activity level starts to rise again in the afternoon. That's my experience. I can tell you, you know, talking with a lot of people that night fish, they almost always will tell you that the night bite is the best when dealing with a full moon. Uh, or is one of the best periods you can fish when you're night fishing is when you have a full moon. And again, that just goes back to the activity level. I think the fish can see the bait better. I think the fish are actively out looking to eat and it's a good time to be out. And if you're a night fisherman, it works out to your advantage too, because you can see everything in, in your boat. It just makes it easier to do it. So maybe that's something to it too. Maybe you're more efficient as a night fisherman when you have the full moon, which makes you more productive on the water. I, I guess I don't know. I don't do that much night fishing, but I do think that there's something to say about the full moon being a really good indicator as to how you should adjust your day and how you should approach it the next day or the next morning when you get out. Uh, it's just one of those things that I think you just need to base your personal experience off. But I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Do you agree with what I just said? Or have you had other circumstances where you don't feel like the moon matters at all? I mean, I can't say that I've seen enough difference uh, in fish activity levels with any other period of the moon phase, except for the few days around a full moon. That seems like that's the number one thing. So Guys, let me know. Put in the comments section what you've seen. Are there certain uh, ways that you like to fish when you're dealing with full moon periods or other moon periods? Uh, and, you know, let the rest of us learn from your experiences as well. So thanks for tuning, tuning in, guys. I appreciate it. Uh, you know, hit that like button if you enjoyed today's channel. Otherwise, stay tuned for tomorrow's video. We got another one good, another good one coming out. Thanks for watching, guys.